Thank you, uh, Chairman Smith, Chairman Bouchon, Ranking Member Lipinski, and members of the committee. I'm a little different than most of the other kids here for two reasons. One being I'm legally blind, not fully blind, but not fully sighted, caught in the middle. Um, also because I am actually not going into a STEM career. Um, but it still definitely has changed a lot and encouraged lots of things for me just being a part of FIRST. I've never been able to play sports. I couldn't see well enough to do it. I was always you know, your immediate target for dodgeball in all my classes. <laughs> they went out of their way to try, and I was always the first one out. So sports were never a thing. Games were hard. Lots of other activities were always difficult. And I first heard about FIRST through a friend of mine who was on the team and her sister was as well. They've been doing it for a while. And the way she talked about it, it seemed like such a great atmosphere and it seemed like a really good opportunity. So I applied for the next year and got into it on the business side. And once I was in, after a while, I just got adjusted. You meet all kinds of people. You see all kinds of things in progress. It's very interesting to see. And I mean, robots are cool. <laughs> but there's a place for everybody, really. I didn't have to worry about being judged for anything. I didn't have to worry about um, whether or not I could do it. I mean, I could never, I couldn't work on the robot directly or anything, so I couldn't be on build because I couldn't quite see well enough to do that. But there's, you can certainly be involved. And when you watch it happen, it's really, really very cool. That's, that's about all I have to say.